Okay, I've got two ignition coils from a 2013 Silverado 5.3 liter. Uh, one of them's bad, and I've had, this is actually like the third or fourth one that has gone bad. I wish I knew what was causing that, so if anybody knows, just leave me a comment. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to show what I've done the test. Uh, so, of course, this is my bad one. It looks old. And this newer one, um, whenever you measure uh, the, the pin straight through the coil, uh, of course, here on the other side that goes uh, to the plug that goes to uh, the spark plug, you're not going to, you're not really going to get much reading there. So if you measure through one side, to any of those pins. You're not getting anything. And you should not. Should be wide open. <clears throat> and check my bad coil. Same thing, no change on the multimeter for any of those pins. It's got four pins. So the kicker is checking the ground. All right, so checking my good coil to ground. There's a little pin there that comes out. It's gonna go to a grounding plate. My good one. I just touched it there for a second. Nothing. Bad one. So I've got 14 mega ohms to ground right there. So it should be wide open. Uh, then your other check is here ground to your pins so I don't know what the pin order is I got one pin that one bad one that's oh it's steady climbing whoa it jumped off of it Got 19 mega ohms there. This one's weird, it just keeps climbing. Got 19 mega ohms there. 113 ohms there. So I got about 19 on the middle too. This one down on the end. Just keeps on climbing in it. I don't know what's going on there. Of course. New one. Check the ground. Checking those pins is going to be a little different. Hard 17 on that first one that was going crazy. Middle pin. 278 kilo ohms. Other middle pin. 268 kilo ohms. So they're similar in that close and you got point one ohm there so definitely not what you saw on the bad one like I said this is about the fourth time this happened I don't know why it's happening all I know is it's an easy fix um, uh, I swap out a plug and I swap out uh, the, the coil every time. The symptoms I get are uh, when I'm Id idling uh, at, at a stoplight in traffic, um, I, I feel the engine is missing. 
and and uh, I always get an uh, engine check engine light when that happens so that um, that rough idling just I can feel it miss every now and then when I'm on a standstill uh, going down the highway interstate you know no problems no problem accelerating or anything but um, definitely when it's idling I can tell the difference it's not smooth so um, I'll swap this out and I'm sure it'll be fixed but anyway that's one way to check uh, to see if they're uh, the one you got is bad um, I've never compared it this first time I've compared it so I don't know what the actual measurements should be um, but that's, that's one way to check and again anybody knows why a, a, the same coil would continue to fail it's on cylinder one uh, and this, I think this is the fourth one I put on it um, so I, I, I it'll probably fail in the future um, so anyway uh, if anybody knows help me out and maybe this helps somebody thanks